Yo, what's up? We are now outside of uh, Soko K. Tabling van, it's free reset, my regular starting point. Here behind me, we have a Tesla Model S long range Raven. This is brand spanking new car, it has about 100 kilometers on the odometer. And today, we will do 1000 kilometer challenge. Now, because of Corona situation, we shouldn't travel through Sweden, so I have to do the Norway route this time. Yeah, unfortunately, but we will also see how fast the Norway route is compared to uh, Sweden. Well, or rather, how slow it is. So what is a little bit uh, special about this car is that it doesn't have the original rims. You probably recognize these rims. This is 19-inch uh, mag rims. Uh, not the exact same one that I have on, uh, on the Model 3. It's, it's for Model S. So 19-inch with windrun tires. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. So uh, we will see how thirsty they are or how efficient they are. I think that they don't have the best aerodynamics, but man, do they look good. And they are also lighter. They are about five kilos lighter than the, the original rims. So um, let me show you the plan now. We are live streaming as usual. And the schedule is to leave at 10, so in 15 minutes. And since we are going Norway, we will have to drive mostly on Norway. So we start there, we go to uh, Delhi de Luca, Sweden, Sundsparken, and then we go back again. And this is the semi critical part because we'll be passing here around noon, which is not too bad. But then we have to drive all the way down here until, and then, until the motorway ends here. I could go further, and then I hit also more motorway here. What should I do it? Nah. And then after that one, I drive back north again. And this is the critical part because we have to pass through Oslo in the afternoon. I don't know how the traffic is, but it is Saturday, fortunately. And then after that one, we have to drive north here. Now, I checked the map. There is some detour here. They have, uh, they're constructing something here. No, wait, no, 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 not there. Here, 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 here. So you have to take this detour here, which is slower. That's unfortunate. But then once we are here, Eidsvoll, Moskogen, Minnesunden, we have very little traffic. And then we might do some extra loops here, not too much, and then we are done. Well, actually, I might also add in some detour there and there, we'll see. And I just skip it. I think we just go north and then we go a little bit here, but not too much back and forth. And then we try to end up uh, back here, 1,000 kilometers. So I try to plug in now and charge, but it won't charge. It, it says that it's finished. See, and we can also set that the limit was 100, but it was 100 right before we left home. And if we switch to um, display here, distance, you see that it displays at 596. It was 602 or something, 603 when it was fully charged. So um, the cool thing about uh, this car is that it has the new Raven dampers. I just call it the Raven dampers. If you look here, this is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I will have it on comfort. What, should I have it on auto? Uh, you got my best thinking. Oh, put it on low. The default ride height to low. Um, well, it will um, it will increase the efficiency. So uh, yeah, okay, okay. Let's run it on low then. Yeah, but just put it on auto and low, and then we'll get a little bit better efficiency when we, especially because we're gonna drive fast. So now we just have to until 10 and then we reset some trip meters and then off. Yes, yeah, this car is so new. <laughs> yeah, and then off we go. We are on the run now. So uh, we've been driving for a while now. We just passed um, uh, Salzburg. I always mix up Salzburg and uh, Fredrikstad. Salzburg is here. We are now 17 kilometers away from the turnaround point. I'm now driving in the left lane because uh, this car has no auto lane change. So uh, I don't want to cancel the, the, yeah, the autopilot. So uh, we have done almost 100 kilometers so far. Yes, we are cruising at 110 in the 110 zone. I'm going to increase my speed after I shoot this video. <laughs> so far so good. Yes, 16 degrees Celsius. Always lug, hug the left lane. Yes, remember to always a, B, C, always hug the left lane. <laughs>
We have now passed the supercharger in Ringgangskogen. We are going to the turnaround point and then back again. The car estimates 11% there, so it means we should be at 5% at the supercharger. Yeah, let's navigate to it so I can start preheating the battery. Well, it will probably not preheat the battery. So nice weather over here, very little traffic, all good. We are now at Ringdalskogen. This is the first charging stop at after almost 400 kilometers and three and a half hours of driving at proper motorway speed. Let's see what speed we get. Ah, oh, I was hoping for faster, but well, only 128 kilowatts. I wonder, is, would it be faster to go to the Tesla supercharger? Well, we, we don't have time to lose now. We are plugged in here now, so let's just charge here. But I was hoping for faster. I was hoping for 500 amp, but it seems to be capped at 350. No, wait, 300, 370 amp. Oh, we might have been getting 140 kilowatt at the supercharger or even 150. Well, it's too late now, <laughs> but okay. Because if you unplug now and go up there, it will take a couple of extra minutes. So, um, oh, should we do it? Should we do it? Uh... Look guys, this is weird. It happened once already. It dropped to 25 kilowatt, around 30%, and then it slowly rise again. And then it dropped again the second time. I suspect that the, um, the CCS, CCS adapter is overheating or something. Something is weird here. See, now it slowly goes up again. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, should we move to the, the to supercharger? The supercharger is right nearby here. Or should we just keep charging? Uh, we might move over to the supercharger. Okay, guys, we moved to the supercharger. It throttled for the third time. So we, we actually lost a couple of minutes because of the throttling and because of uh, that we had to move over here. But look at the speed. I never received 128 kilowatt before. I had to record a new charging session after I'd done the 1000 kilometer challenge. And now the cooling started, but it's the 127 kilowatt is still fast. So we will charge enough to go to Brumenau. That's 260 kilometers from here. Wow, this is going to be, what, huh? wait, wait a minute. I could get away with only two charging stops on this uh, 1000 km challenge. That is insane. Two charging stops only. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, we still don't have to leave. We can still ride on the 100 kilowatt way before we unplug. We are on the move again. So now we are going for the long stretch from here via Oslo and then to Brumendal. And the problem is that it will be around two, uh, three in the afternoon. So I don't know how the traffic will be there. We just have to see. Yeah, still nice weather over here. And for now, low traffic. Now north of Gardermoen and uh, you see here they closed the road so we have to drive a slow detour yeah the speed is not very fast so I'm um, not sure what to do with this should we subtract five minutes ten minutes or should we just leave it there yeah I don't know we'll see we'll see in the end what the time is but just keep in mind this that this is a slow uh, detour it should add about uh, two three minutes extra we are now at Brumenal supercharger this is the second charging stop and i calculated we need two more yeah wait no 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 one more we need three total three total <laughs> so again here is Mios Torna. this time you can see it slightly better the wood hotel look 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 
Yeah, it's a wooden structure. Uh, so, uh, I noticed something, which is that the superchargers now all over Norway, you know, they used to be 120 kilowatts. And uh, you see one, some over there, some over here. And now they seem to be 150, all of them, because I was uh, messing around at Ionity. I was getting 130 in the beginning because the amp wasn't high enough. And I'm gonna show you here that over here, plug in, got instantly 140 kilowatts. And now we are getting 143. I should have used supercharger on the previous stop. And I would have been steady at 140. So we have stayed here for about five minutes, maybe. I don't remember exactly. And I need to charge to about 55%. So around 20 minutes stop, I think. And then we are good to go again. So the plan now is that we will stay here and drive a little bit back and forth. We only need to do uh, one extra loop or something. And we are at 660, uh, 650 roughly. So we need to drive 350 more kilometers. And then we want to finish there because I will make a video and document the charging speed. Because, oh yeah, I need, I need to show you something else. This one is 150. Check here. 150. 150. It's 150. Tesla has been silently upgrading to 150 all over Europe and other places, I guess. But this battery supposedly has upgraded cooling because it's the latest and hottest from Tesla. Uh, supposedly it can, it can take 200 kilowatts and it also has the, up, the, the thicker cable to take 250 even. But if you look under on this side, you will see the battery and I'm going to show you now. This one is the Revision G. Livestream people were talking about it that if you have the Revision G, you will have that faster charging. And I noticed that this battery charged faster and it had a flatter curve. The previous, the, the, the P100D or the 100D I tested last year could only maintain 135, uh, 140 kilowatt until 20% and then it started trotting. But this one seems to have it flat until around 50%. So that's a big improvement. So, all right, we will charge it for a little bit and then hammer it again. We are now getting close to, uh, what is this place called? Espa, yeah, we're getting close to Espa. So we've been driving for 56 minutes. Okay, okay, not too bad. Average speed is almost 120 kilometers per hour. Okay, okay, very good. I don't know how I magically got 120 kilometers per hour average speed when cruising at 110. But don't worry, as soon as I finish shooting this video, I will increase the speed. So um, now we just have to drive north a little bit. I'm not sure where. And then we go back to, uh, and then we go to, uh, what is this? Oh, Nebines, 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 yes. And I have to point out, we have a little bit of rain here. We are now at Nebenes. I'm charging up here, getting 130 kilowatts. And this is the last charging stop. Yes, we're getting close to 900 kilometers. Oh, and I only have time for hot dogs. Yeah. 20 minute stops. Mm. Um, I bought some buns, but I will eat this outside the car. Hmm. Last run. Oh, I almost missed it. Let's see here. We have now reached the nine hour mark and we are at 900 kilometers here, but this is 1% error. So it's actually 901 minus 1%. So it's 890 something, but close enough. We have one hour left to try to make it <laughs> within uh, 10 hours. Ah, oh, how is this gonna be? Come on, let's go for it. Go, go, go. Now, by the way, we will drive to uh, Brummendal and then turn back again and then drive to Dal. That's the plan. And then back here. Yeah, so, uh, yeah that's not, not too important. 
what you guys want to know about is the distance yeah go go Okay, this is it, the countdown. So, it's a bit weird. We have to go 1,010. Yeah, 1,000 kilometers and 10. So you can see that we have nine, one, 1,009, okay. In, when it hits 158.3 or four, it would be it. So I can't say 999, I would just say, one there, 1,010. <laughs> 1,010. After 9 hours and 53 minutes, wow, wow, that is a new record. 1,000 kilometer challenge done with the, before 10 hour mark in Norway. <laughs> okay, let's get back to a supercharger. We are now back at Nebenes, so... This car did it in less than 10 hours, even in Norway. And how could it do it? How could it be faster than the Model 3? Because the Model 3 charges faster and the Model 3 is more efficient. Well, actually every time I did it in the Model 3, it was with MC Hammer, which has 19 inch wheels. So they are not the most efficient wheels, I have to be honest. This one though has the 19 inch, which is the more efficient one for this car. But I think the biggest difference is that the Model S has 100 kilowatt hour pack and it can drive 400 kilometers before it needed a first charging stop. And we only needed three charging stops. For MC Hammer, I was a little bit clumsy and I think I had four or five charging stops, which brings up the overhead. Every time you exit the highway, and then plug it in or whatever. I think we used, yeah, we used Ionity, which also added a little bit. So, um, but yes, I will make this nine hours and 50 minutes because we had a little bit of silly detours and also a little bit problems with charging. So just round it down. Those three minutes is 9.50. Yes, people in the live stream, they agree, 9.50. So we have set a new record now with the Model S. Yeah. So that's going to be it for now then. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.